So I was recently tagged in a video, a fragrance video, Cheapy Trifecta Tag Video. And this one is for the fall and winter. They're looking for three, your three best fall winter fragrances. And they want them totaling out at under a hundred dollars. Definitely head over to this guy's channel, Bomb Fragrances with Big Toes. Got tons, tons of fragrance related content. Very nice, energetic guy. Uh, very down to earth, great personality. Has a nice collection. Got a lot of fragrances that I wouldn't mind trying to get my hands on. Uh, very versatile uh, collection. It's like a very fashion oriented guy as well. So definitely head over to his channel uh, and, and partake in some of these videos and and uh, and check check them out. Don't forget to head over to his channel, hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification bell and stay up to date it whenever he uploads any content. So for my top three, I'm gonna go for the ones that I actually have reached for the most. Now, I see that he used Oud Touch or Oud Bene uh, by Frank Olivier in his video. So it's off limits for me. I gotta pick something different. So I wanted to go with fragrances that I've actually been using quite a bit this previous winter. The first one that I'm gonna bring up it's from Nazar Fragrances. This is Black Butter. I absolutely, absolutely love this fragrance. Look at that juice. Just that dark, saturated juice. And look at just how much we've been using. This stuff is so good. When I smell this, I get a creamy, resinous, almost powdery, uh, creamy, just saturated, almost like a coffee, but I think it's toffee in here instead. But I get like a coffee vibe out of this as well. You're gonna get like a slight spice, something that comes off almost like a tobacco leaf. And it's just smooth, smoky, toffee. I believe mango is in here as well. It's either mango or mango leaf. It's creamy, it's, 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 de it's decadent, but in just like the most sophisticated way. This I would consider to be a gourmand, but it's got like a little bit of a smokiness spice going on. You can dress this up, in my opinion, in the winter, and you can also dress this down and just wear this casually. I've gone into stores and straight turned heads with this fragrance. That's why I've worn this so much. I've had people ask me like, yo, what is that? Like, what is the name of it? I, I got to go and purchase this. Black Butter by NazarFragrances.com. Definitely go and check them out. I'll be dropping a link to all these fragrances in the description, so you guys can go and check them out for yourself. Mm, I gotta spray a little bit on. And you're just gonna get that sweet, that creamy, that musky, little bit of that spice, little bit of that smokiness. Uh, you're gonna get like this really sort of, um, dense coffee or toffee sort of a note a little bit of a resinous behavior circulating around in her and you're going to get that that with that toffee comes off like a charred sugar or a charred caramel almost super super nice fragrance this is what i would consider to be one of the uh classics in the traditional fragrance oil type of a uh, lineup you'll see a lot of fragrance oil uh, vendors, sellers, and online companies have this one in their collection. But the way that Nazar Fragrances does his has, is the best that I've smelled so far. Next up, this one is a true favorite of mine. This is from Montaigne Parfums, Vanille Fresh. as bergamot, vanilla, sandalwood, but this is their variation of Parfum de Mali Leighton. As you can see, I've used this quite a bit. Got like a nice light golden sort of yellowish hue to this one really nice fragrance nice simple and straight to the point presentation kind of has like that Le Labo sort of a feel to their bottles sprayer on this really nice spray and I gotta try some of this on mm. gosh it's so good y'all it's just that that high pitch spice tobacco but vanilla guayac wood 
Apple is it's everything, yo. Everything that you want in a winter scent, especially for date nights, close encounters. This right here is going to project. It's going to last just a sexy apple pie, just a sexy masculine apple pie for the winter and for the fall. You can't go wrong with this at all. Winter time, if you want to go on a date night, you want to black it out. You know what I mean? You may have a black blazer, black dress shirt. You know what I mean? Nice little black Movado watch or something like that. Uh, and you want to just, you know, just black it out and just hit it with this right here. This is, this is wonderful. And a little quick little tip too. If you want to get a little adventurous with this, take this and pair it with this. If you have other variations of Layton, uh, try that. If you have any other variation of Lost Cherry, layer those two. And this is just a, it is a straight bomb. Adding in that really high pitched, syrupy, sweet, boozy sort of element to that spicy sort of tangy uh, apple pie element with Layton, you get a, you get a really, really good time. That sweetness truly complements everything going on in that Layton. That is going to get you compliments guaranteed. It's going to last a super long time. The vanilla fresh fragrance on my skin, this lasts me 10 plus hours easily. And I wore this quite a bit. Stay grabbing and reaching for this one. It was such an easy reach. It didn't take any thought. If I wanted to just smell good and just wanted to know for a fact that I smell good, this is what I was reaching for. And last, this fragrance right here. Let me tell y'all something. You probably can't see that label. I'm gonna try to talk to him and see if we can create a label that is uh, a bit more visible. But this is called Maximus Black. And this is by Making Sense. Michael Dinsmore over at Making Sense. Shout out to my boy, Mike. He's been taking care of me for i say about the last two years. This dude hasn't made a dud yet. Everything that I've gotten from him smells amazing. Look at this juice level. You know I ain't playing. It's a 30 ml bottle and I've been cracking, cracking this fragrance. This stuff smells absolutely, truly, wonderfully amazing. Maximus Black is a hybrid consisting of two fragrances. Black Phantom and Creed Aventus. I wanted something that would be able to just have like this elixir vibe to it. Something that's truly irresistible. Something that is unavoidable, but not obnoxious. Something that is smooth, that is dangerous, that is just an just elixir. Just a guaranteed W. If I'm in a tight situation, and it's the winter time, fall, a couple sprays of this, and it can it can get me get me in the right place that I need to be. This is going to be tangy. This is going to be dense, saturated. It's going to be woody, smoky. It's going to have a nice amount of sweetness. Even with the smoky and the woodiness and the things that it has, and those are there, it still comes off just absolutely delicious. This is a gourmand but it just has that ability to not be too playful. To me, this is a, a very straight up, straightforward, nearly serious fragrance. It's not really playful, but it's so much, it's just so much going on that it's just delicious for this fragrance. My God, that pineapple, the coffee note, the sugar, that rum, all of those things and those elements just elevate that pineapple. It just makes this fragrance so opulent, so saturated, juicy, so vibrant. Absolutely love the way that this comes off. And I think you will love this too. This is Maximus Black. Again, this is Creed Aventus and Black Phantom. This is the perfect combination of both of those fragrances. I want to say he did about a 55, 45, 
mix on these, but I'm not exactly sure. Ah, oh, it's musky, woody, juicy, tangy, smoky. Uh, got some sweetness and got some, got a little bit of like this fuzzy mysteriousness to it. This thing is everything that I'm looking for in a winter fragrance. Got a slight bit of spice, not much at all. You're going to get just this really a smooth, creamy, tangy elixir uh, kind of a vibe going on from this. It's warm, but not in an amber kind of a way. It has a, a nice amount of that coffee note here. The pineapple shines brightly in this one. Love this. And that wraps it up for my three top, my top three fall and winter fragrances. Here you have it here. Thanks to my boy, Bomb Fragrances with Big Toast. Thanks for coming over and tagging me in this video. It's super enjoyable. Just sharing some of my recommendations with you guys. I'm going to tag a few of you guys as well uh, in the video. So be looking out for it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you guys soon. Peace.